güey. Todo el pinche trabajo que se ha hecho, güey, puedes mostrarlo ahorita, eh. Photographer Miguel Salazar here to my left. One of the best in the game. Backstage with Jose Benavidez moments before his fight. Jose, congratulations on your victory, man. You broke the guy down, fourth round TKO. Your thoughts on your performance? Yeah, well, I, I trained extremely hard for this fight. Went up to Big Bird, had an awesome camp. I felt good, and uh, I was ready to fight, man. When I was right here, I couldn't wait. I just wanted to fight already. Plus, the guy's from Phoenix, so I mean, there's only one there's only one best in Phoenix, so I had to show him the best from Phoenix. So, so are, did you, are you not training at the wild card anymore? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm training at the wild card, just that this time we uh, we were going to work with Jesta, and yeah. he was going to go up there, but kind of got a little mix up, so we just decided to stay over there. Oh. First camp, first first time there, just wanted to see how the experience, uh, experience went, and I mean, it felt good. It, you ready? You go up there, dude, it's a whole different story. It feels like you can't breathe, but I mean, yeah. I got used to it. it. Took me a couple of days to get used to it, but I, I got used to it, like I said, I felt good and ready for this camp. You had a little bit of an arm hand injury I mean how did that affect you mentally and physically well I had a I had an arm injury here yeah. when I fought against uh, was it Marquez and uh, Pacquiao yeah and the thing I think the thing was I found out was the gloves I was using I couldn't really close my hands yeah they were just too I don't know just too broke I couldn't close my hands and I and I found some other everlasting gloves and I was training with them and I felt good with them and like I said I was training with them and the fight I won for, the, for the, my first time here in the fight and I felt good I mean I'm going to start using them from now on because they feel good and my, they don't have my hands so. and is it ever hard for you to find like sparring partners I mean you know no, or? there's good boxers all around man there's good boxers all around, especially in my way so I mean it's Big Bear, I was working with uh, Joel Diaz, he's going to fight August, sometime August 18th, something like that. Yeah. He's a tremendous fighter, I wish him nothing but the best of luck, and he should win that fight, no problem, KO. And uh, there's a lot of people up in uh, Wildcard as well, the Armenian, Russian people. So, I mean, there's nothing but great sparring. There's, I can't go wrong in California with the sparring.